What's up, Coalition? It's KK here, back with some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, we finished up Case 3 of Turnabout Samurai. Uh, today we're going to be doing, well, as you can see over there on the... <coughs> Wait, my voice is... <laughs> over there on the uh, area above the bottom screen, Turnabout Goodbyes. One of my favorite cases in the games, uh... Certainly long, but not as long as the fifth game, or fifth game, <laughs> fifth case, but yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully that we can get through it in a timely manner, because <clears throat> the fifth case is going to take forever. <laughs> Especially since it's been a while since I've played it, and you know, I might actually play it on my D- <coughs> Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> I might actually play it on my- um, cartridge, just so I know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> ah. Well, anyway, let's get into this. Yes. It's been, what, 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You suffered? And now, the perfect opportunity presents itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. Garbage day. <laughs> huh? Edgeworth? What are you doing, man? What happened? Oh, wow. <laughs> December 25th. That was Christmas. 10.08 a.m. Hey, hey, Nick! Do you know if there's any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick! Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Or, I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to have braved the element and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Um, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. I'm sorry, but sorry, but them's the breaks. Can you just take a cold shower or something? <laughs> sorry, I laughed. Good idea. So much for the wa rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large identified, large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy, and a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness monster. Blech. Though its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax, locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. <sighs> Boring. Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? Hmm? The water pressure's kinda low in that shower. Really? <laughs> you want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Good idea, Nick! Apparently, ESP is no aid in detecting sarcasm. <laughs> we interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time it's murder. Gord Lake again? The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. What? Edgeworth is an up-and-coming prosecu prosecution attorney known for his skill and connections. He was guaranteed long a re guaranteed a long and rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Hmm. E Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like. Nick. Yipes! M Maya! The fireman yelled at me when I called him. 
We've got bigger things to worry about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder. What? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Okay. Let's go find out then. Detention center. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the drill. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to so many people. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! No, come back! <laughs> hey, Edgeworth, come back! What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were here? So, you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh! LAUGH! Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, I think it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad or burst into tears. <laughs> oh dear. Edgeworth. We don't have so much free time we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. Hey, I didn't want to see you either, believe me. <laughs> Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're going to help you, that's what! Help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You are a novice! You've only been in three trials! Hey! Sure, you got lucky and won all three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. No, <laughs> don't say that! It became true! <laughs> <laughs> you need real skill, right? Experience. Nick, he's insulting you. Nick, why am I always the one who has to get angry? <laughs> because you're always wrapped up by something. <laughs> the murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes, late last night. The lake is a long way away from your offices and the court. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. M Mr. Edgeworth! You... You didn't really... <clears throat> Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Oh, that's a lie and you know it. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edward talk to us? Well, I don't know. Let's flash her badge. Uh... <clears throat> Your attorney's badge? Edgeworth, let me defend you. Ha! Ha ha! Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Trust a wet behind the ear lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I dig it. Every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't or I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Okay. Can we talk to him something about Yes. Okay. Edgeworth. This is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. 
I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But, but Nick is trying to help you! I know, I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? <laughs> Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Wow. Nick, Mr. Edgeworth did it, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate somewhere else. But Nick... Hmm. Well, we're going to Gord Lake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is where it happened? Yeah, Gord Lake is in the middle of this park. I see some police walk <coughs> walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal, there's an there's enough of us here. Anyone found anything? S sorry, sir, nothing. An idiot! The trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. But but, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who- Shut up! Just you try saying that again. I'll- Er- I'll make you sorry if you do. I mean, just get out of my face, pal. Y yes sir Detective Gumshoe's kinda scary today. Recruits. Peh. <laughs> ah! Eek! Hey, you're that hairy guy. Harry Butts. Right, Phoenix Wright! Will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Uh, um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up? Um, Mr. Edwards hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, y you don't say. I do say, unfortunately. <clears throat> Detective Gumshoe, do you know what happened here? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Wow. <laughs> Head in the, huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did he get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? Let's ask about the witness. Who was this witness? Er, sorry, pal, that's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only one? Was there only that one witness? Yep, it was pretty cold out on the lake last night. God, I can't read. <laughs> and it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. Uh, you never know when you're going to turn up another witness. That's why we're out here today, checking things out. So far, we're coming up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today! I've forgotten! Or I'd forgotten! <laughs> what did you get me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa! <laughs> Alright, now let's talk about Edward. You don't think Mr. Edworth is a murderer? Absolutely not! It's impossible! I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right, who cares what that witness says? I care! <laughs> you really believe in him, don't you, Detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taken this investigation that seriously. Oh no! Wow. The police and 
Oh, wow, they suck. After all the help Mr. Edwards has been to us, hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Huh. <sighs> is it true? No one will take Mr. Edwards' case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you if you defended him and lost, your reputation be be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they have a witness. Hey, pal! Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him too. Remember the Steel Samurai? Mr. Edward helped you get your client declared innocent. I I know. I went to Edgeworth, I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? W well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after the Steel Samurai case. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick, I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. <laughs> Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective Gumshoe, sir. What? Find something? Um, no, sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold an investigation briefing. A briefing? Right. I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you heard. I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask, ask me about before I head back? Uh, well, he doesn't have the autopsy report on right now, so how to get in touch with you. You're not coming back, Detective? Er, probably not, pal. So, what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, right. Here, I'll show you how to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. Detective Gumshoe gave you directions to the police station. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. What? Um, we'd like to take a look around the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, <clears throat> I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. <laughs> right, now let's get investigating. Okay. Ah, uh, Gord Lake Public Beach, Criminal Affairs Department, let's get Gord Lake. Wow, it's the background without the Steel Samurai. <laughs> Wowzers, this is Gordon Lake? Yep. I'm not sure it warrants a Wowzers, though. Hmm, or, hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs? I want a Samurai dog, please. I bet they're great. With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know. Nope. <laughs> oh, looks like there's a little something on the thingy there. Huh, someone left one of those poppers here. You know, you pull the string and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, it might be a clue. Let's take it. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop it, right? Was it that obvious? <laughs> a popper. Hmm. Yeah, take it. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Huh? Where'd it go? I already put it in my pocket. Popper put it in the pocket. <laughs> oh, she gets excited over everything. Um, or like Woods, Boat Rental Shop. There's another the Boat Rental Shop yet. Or I know. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They've got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick. If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to him. Okay. Ah, uh, I guess we gotta do this. All we need to do is examine this nice looking camera. 
The camera has a mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool! Let's try it out! <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick! Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick! Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? <laughs> Maybe it's broken. D don't kick it! Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Hold on. <coughs> well, what then? I know! The party popper? Bang! Click, 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 click. Wow. <laughs> yep, it responded. Yaw! Oh my god, I'm not sure I'm gonna do this. Per hey, you! Get your hands off of that! Oh god, I can't do southern accents. We're like, darn. Eek! What in Sam Hill? Look what y'all what look what y'all done now. There goes a whole roll of film. Uh what huh? So sorry, sorry's nice, but they don't pay my bills. Oh god, sorry, I'm trying, but y'all know how much a roll that film costs? I'll pay you back. Why were y'all thinking setting up a party popper in a place like this? Uh well, what? Don't try to play stupid with me just cause you think I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know what y'all yanks think. I say, them southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why, well, they must be dumb. Oh, I'm sorry if I offend any southerners, but I can't do a southern accent worth of crap. Well, let me tell you. Just cause I might be dumb don't mean we all are. Uh, I think she just insulted herself. Oh, I skipped what she said. <laughs> and who who are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, uh, no, rather, uh, we're sort of friends? Just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say it for bejesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit with, through one of <laughs> Papa's drawls and listen to you stutter all day. Oh, boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it. Yes, ma'am. On second thought, I'll pay later. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh. Okay, now she won't talk to us unless we do present her badge. I don't. I think. I. Er, this is my badge. Huh? Our badge is supposed to be all shiny, impressive. You a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. W what? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that film now. Cause I'll have y'all know I'm a fighter and I wrestle me and look at things in you. N no, that's not it at all. We're, we're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't y'all say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally, some cooperation. Well, I didn't even ask her anything. You two, y'all can come out hiding now. I won't bite. Hard. Come to think of it, where did Maya get to? So sorry. I, I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I could talk yank for you if, ahem, if it pleases you. So thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lotta. Lotta Hart, but y'all can call me Lotta. I'm here photographing media showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. Oh, I'm trying. <laughs> we got a lot more talking to do with her. Oh. <clears throat> oh yeah. When was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so. Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure, though. Y'all gotta remember I've been washing this here lake for a good three days now. I've seen enough boats to choke a mule. Kinda hard to remember which I've seen when. <laughs> so, what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? Nah, <laughs> y'all don't really want to know that, do ya? 
actually, I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat! Nick, she's a research student at University Country U. Uh, so I hear. <clears throat> so, when did you come up here? Mm, let me see. I guess it was about three days ago. What are you photographing? Did they not tell you all that already? Meteors, yeah, meteor showers. Falling stars? No, n no, never mind. That's quite a camera you have there. Oh, great, now I think I'm getting southern accent to Maya. No, don't do that. Me? <laughs> Y'all better know it. It's German made. A genuine Solingen. Isn't that where they make knives? Ah, uh, Phoenix. Um, so what's the device you have stuck to the camera? Huh? A device? It started moving all by itself when I fired my party popper. Oh, that? That triggers a shutter whenever it detects certain sounds. It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat! Ah, oh, I'm gonna be ending this episode here soon. Oh, I don't wanna, I'm having fun! <laughs> okay, let's present her camera here. Lana? Yeah? So, your camera, it triggers on loud ex <coughs> explosion noises? Ah, uh, yep! <laughs> oh god, that was weird sounding. Ah, uh, yep, or whatever. <laughs> Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! Y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have a look-see at my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once. Don't remember if there's anything on them, though. But what if I got some? I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeehaw! Ugh. I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now, you hear? She went inside her SUV. I guess we should come back later. Oh my god, that southern accent I'm trying to do. Honestly, I've tried. Oh, we're in the shop. I don't think there's anything here yet. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll go for another 10 minutes or so. Nick, what is this place? A boat rental shop closed for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of those... One of the boats won't be f good for business, either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. I'm on- no. Nope. Not singing it. Really? Well, how about we go on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea! You bet! Ugh. Okay... I guess we're going to criminal affairs now. Uh, criminal affairs... I'm not sure how long this investigation day is, because... I guess Detective Gumshoe is still in that meeting. Hey! Thanks for coming down, pal! Detective Gumshoe! We just finished the meeting, for better or for worse. I guess the feeling we're in... I get the feeling we're in some... In for some bad news. Oh my god, read! <laughs> no, not examine! Ah. Doc! The victim. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edwards said anything? Not a word. <laughs> so, how did the meeting go? I can't tell you, pal. You're a lawyer. T true. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edwards is human like you or me. Still. I get the feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edward did it? 
Well, the trial starting tomorrow is scheduled. I see. Um, hey, and in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Or, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. There we go. <laughs> Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Y yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help, and you're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Okay. Detective Gumshoe? How come you trust Mr. Edward so much? Well, I think that was obvious. We got a strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other, and that's how it works. A working relationship? <coughs> okay. Um, Yowie fangirls, stay away from that. See, see, Mr. Edward always gets his defendants declared guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times, but there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work extra hard, pal. Yeah, we gotta earn that place he- that earn that trust he places in us. I see. Mr. Edward is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do this one. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Thank you. Thank you. Nick? Huh? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face. Someone you know? I I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Okay, well. Uh, I think I'm actually going to end it here. Uh, I really didn't want to end it, but uh, this investigation is pretty long, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure how- if it goes into the trial, it's fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> or the next part goes into the trial, that's totally fine with me, I don't really care anymore. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time. KK out.